Okay guys, uh, yesterday was a little bit dry. It was just oh, a lot of stuff about the new modified uh, AP exam. Uh, so today we are back in history. As I told you, we will be doing some reviewing with our daily lessons, but we are gonna do some stuff uh, now that we finished World War II with post-war America, uh, the 50s, 1946 to 1960. And since we just did World War II, we will go away from foreign policy. Uh, it's called the Cold War. We will do that next. Uh, let's focus on some stuff going on at home, some, some domestic stuff, and, and get away from bullets and bombs and things like that. Uh, so we're going to start off with, uh, for today, and I'll say more about it in just in the next video, uh, you're going to watch the, probably the most famous or infamous <laughs> government propaganda film, Duck and Cover, uh, because you cannot understand post-war America without the fear of nuclear apocalypse. And then tomorrow we'll move on and talk about the new affluent consumer suburban society that has come to dominate uh, the 1950s, even though in reality, um, you know, there was a great downside with that. A lot of people were left out. 25% of the country is living in poverty. And uh, of course, it creates a very conformist society. I think y'all read, come on, Catcher in the Rye, Holden Caulfield, Phonies, right? Materialism, conformity. Um, we'll see how that's part of the affluent society as well. Um, and then we'll look at some people that didn't conform. We'll look at some rebels, whether they be early rock and roll or beatniks, uh, and even some more marginal figures that fit into that rebel mode. And then also look at the most important social movement of the 20th century, the civil rights movement, which gets its start during World War II, really, but we'll, we'll, we'll look at what happens uh, in the post-war years, uh, as well as also focusing on uh, the domestic policies of Truman and Eisenhower, and I'm really looking hard to find something good on the 1948 election. That's the famous Dewey defeats Truman picture. Um, cannot find anything free from CNN race for the White House, 1948, <sighs> copyright laws, but I, I will come up with something good. So that is the next mini unit that we are doing. And now you're gonna move on and open up and take a look at what you're doing today, some duck and cover. <laughs> 